Well, it's another beautiful day. If we can all kind of look back years and, and look at some different things, especially when we deal with like infants and little kids, uh, preteen uh, children, one of the things that you always notice that people do is it's always a, it's always a positive, always a motivation, always a hey, keep going, you'll get it. And if you think back, you know, to what we call toddlers, when they get ready to start moving around and they start kind of scooting a little bit, you know, people, parents, siblings, what they do, they, they assist them in the, the scooting process. You know, they, they kind of roll over, you know, first they start rolling over and you, you hey, oh, that's good. You know, it's, it's always positive, always fun, it's always laughing. And then they, they get to the point where from, you know, just laying there to rolling over. Now from rolling over, now they're starting to scoop. Well, what you do is you put something behind them so it'll give them motivation. When they push their feet, they'll move. And then you keep doing that and then they become used to it and then they start, look, start moving on their own, start scooting, and then before you know it, they're crawling. And then from the crawling, then it goes to, look, they're trying to pull up and stand up and, you know, they stand up for the first time and everybody's clapping and you're filming and, you know, having a good time and it's all positive and they fall down and go over and pick them up. And once again, look, it's that more, hey, do it again. You know, that you laughing at them, smiling at them so they know they're doing a, a, a good thing. Then it gets to that point where they start taking steps. And, you know, most of the time it'll be two people. They'll, they'll hold them and guide them and, and walk them and get them to fun. And, you know, you, you laugh and clap and hug them and kiss them and all that kind of stuff. But even after that, you know, when, you know, they do, do your kids do good on a, a spelling test or uh, just, just whatever at school, you know, you come home and, you know, how'd you do? Oh, I did this, did, oh, that's great. You know, the more, well, you, you know, read some more, study, you put books in front of them, you know, just constantly making them smarter and smarter and letting them know, hey, uh, the harder you try, the better you'll be. You know, it's always motivation. But what happens when you get older? What happens to all that motivation that everybody had for you? What happens to the helping each other? And when somebody do good, you're there to support them and edge them on. And where does it go? That's like the big question that, that I have. And once you get older and you get into the workforce and you know start doing different things, then it's like you're not fast enough or you're not talented enough or you're not smart enough. And from that point in life, like for whatever reason, our mindset totally changed from being, I can do whatever I want to, to now I'm limited. So as we get older, how do we get back to that infant toddler mentality? Where, man, I can do anything long as I keep trying. And the, just back to the basics for me is, it's just all in, it's all in my head. What am I thinking about? What, what have I allowed other people to put in my head? So like where you're at right now in your life, you're there because of one or two things. Either you're there because you want to be there or other people's limitations or expectations has put you where you're at. How, how do you get away from that? How do you get back to being motivated? Instead of sitting around waiting for somebody to do something for you, you're doing it for yourself. Think about that. See y'all next Sunday. Morning Motivation. <laughs>